Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Animal husbandry, plant breeding, single cell proteins or SCP and tissue culture. So here we are talking about enhancement of food production. So what do we mean by that? We mean increasing the food production. Now the question is why do we want to learn about enhancement in food production? In fact, more importantly, why exactly is enhancement needed in the food production? So if you look at the growing population, what do you see? Earlier, the population was lesser. And over a period of time, the population is continuously increasing in this way. So here on this picture, you can actually see on one side, you have just a handful of people. On the other side, the number has increased drastically. Now for any person to survive, what does he need? He needs energy and energy comes from the food which he eats. So for survival, food is required. So it is a necessity for survival. Now, this is an example of human beings. Now, it is not only human beings who survive on earth. In fact, we have a variety of animals and all of them need food. So if we want the living organisms to survive, we need to provide them food. Now, since the population is continuously increasing, so the food should also increase. That is the production of food has to be increased as well. And that is where we talk about enhancement of food production. Now, several techniques have come into picture which can help in increasing the production of food. So in simple words, we can say that food production enhancement is needed to sustain sustain the increasing population. Now this, this is why we talk about enhancement in food production. Now the question is what are we going to learn when we talk about enhancement in food production? We will learn about the various techniques which when applied help to increase the production of food. Now even before we start talking about those techniques, what do we mean by food? What exactly are the those foods which are being produced now when you talk about food let us take our own examples however as i said there are many different animals and all of them have their different needs for example the the food which human beings eat is not the same as the food which an elephant eats or it is not the same as the food which a bird eats or which a microorganism eats so different type of living organisms have different requirement of food. But for now to understand it easily, you can think of human beings. So what, what comes to your mind when you think of food? What are the things that we eat? We eat a lot of vegetables and fruits. So from where do we get them? We get them from plants. So that means we are dependent on plants for our food. So in this case, if I say the food production needs to be increased, that means more and more plants need to be grown so that they can provide more vegetables and more fruits. We also eat a lot of dairy products. For example, we drink milk, we eat cheese, we eat butter, curd. So there are so many different dairy products which we consume. So for that, what do we need? We need milk. So from where will the milk come? It comes from a lot of animals. For example, cow is one of the best example. So we all consume cow's milk. So not only cow, cow, buffalo, uh, goat, sheep. So all these examples, all these animals produce milk and that milk is consumed by us. So how can we increase the production? By increasing the number of animals. So if the number of animals increases and all of them give a good quantity of milk, so the food production is also increasing. A lot of human beings are also non-vegetarian and they eat a meat, fish or egg and for these they are directly dependent on other animals. So again if we want to increase the food production for human beings, those the population of these animals need to be increased. We also eat a lot of grains for example rice, wheat, bajra, maize, corn. So all of these come again from plants. In fact, these days we even eat some microorganisms like 
the mushroom mushroom is again a, a nice delicacy in uh, both india as well as outside so people eat a lot of mushroom and it also has a nutritional value attached to it so this is a microorganism right we all know that mushroom belongs to the group fungi so this is also a food for human beings other than this also you have a variety of food like if you think of anything which you eat for example whether you eat a burger or you drink a juice so all of them are directly or indirectly derived either from plants or from animals the other animals so this is what comes to our mind when we talk of food now in order to survive we need some of these even if not all of these but some of these at least for example if you do not get meat fish or egg you can at least survive with fruits and vegetables similarly if you do not get milk or milk products you can survive with fruits vegetables or uh, grains but here we are going to talk about how can we increase the production of all these whether you talk about the plants or you talk about the animal sources of food. So how do we increase the production of all the food materials? Because this is very much important for the survival of the growing population. Now there are various methods to enhance food production. So let us first quickly see what are the different methods which can help to increase the production of food. So one is animal husbandry where we talk about how to increase food production from animals now we already saw that how are we dependent on animals for our food like some of us are directly dependent on animals those who eat fish or those who eat meat of animals they are directly dependent on animals some of us are indirectly dependent on animals for example those who are egetarian so they depend on the eggs which are laid by other animals or birds Again, many of us drink milk. So those who consume dairy and dairy products, they are again indirectly dependent on animals like cows, which produce milk and that milk is consumed by us. So in animal husbandry, we will talk about how to increase the production of food from animals. Next is plant breeding, where we'll talk about the food production enhancement from plants. Because from plants, we get a lot of stuff. We get different vegetables, different fruits. We also get all the cereals like rice, wheat, maize, etc. So a variety of stuffs are obtained from plants and they are all extremely nutritious. They are Some of them are rich in carbohydrates, some in proteins, some in minerals. So we will see how can the production of food from plants be increased. Next is SCP, that is single cell protein. So in single cell protein, we will see how can a particular cell be utilized to act as a food or to act as a rich source of protein. So the best example here would be the microbes. We will see that a lot of microorganisms can be grown in culture and they can act as a source of food for human beings. And the last method is tissue culture. So in tissue culture, what we will learn is how can we grow an entire plant from a particular tissue or from a particular cell. So from one cell, you can actually end up growing a lot of plants. Thousands of plants can be grown from a small cell or a tissue of the original plant. So these are the four methods or these are the four techniques which we will discuss here and these techniques will help to increase the production of food. So now we will discuss each of these methods one by one. So we will first start our discussion with the animal husbandry. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons ask questions, refer notes, and take an online test. Thank you once again.